All right, so I did post a video saying that we started the process of getting uh, a really Kate uh, U.S. citizenship and at the same time getting her passport. Um, and some people were asking questions, so I thought I'd just make a video just for that. Um, if you guys have any other questions, you can leave them in the comments. But hopefully this does help you. I'm doing this all on my own, so we haven't gotten to the interview yet. All I have done so far is uh, made an appointment for an interview. And I was lucky because there was one opening at the end of the month. But right now I checked again and there's no openings at all for the next few months. Um, I think they're only open for two months at a time. So you do want to keep checking and checking. They're only open on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So that makes it even more challenging. Um, so I'm going to leave the links too because that was the hardest part. Uh, it took me a few days just to find you know, all these links. And after I f thought I found the right one, I looked at the little print and it was for a different country so uh, you do want to make sure this is for Philippines maybe each country has maybe different rules or laws or whatever like that but anyway uh, the first thing you want to do I would say is make an appointment if you can but like I said I just checked and there's no availability uh, for the interview to get the US citizenship and the passport um, there is an option if you just need one you can just do one or the other but I did the option to do both at the same time so hopefully you can do that uh, anyway, so I'll leave the link for the make an appointment. If it's available, you can make an appointment first. And then um, it didn't take me too long to get everything. The longest thing was the uh, birth certificate. Um, I hope We were hoping to start it as soon as Everly was born, but we had to wait to get the birth certificate um, to start the process, to start this. So um, we just got that back as soon as I got it. I uh, tried to look for the make an appointment. So that's the first step is getting the birth certificate for your baby or... If you, you know, have a, uh, this is for anybody under the age of 18. Um, so anyway, so we're trying to get this done as soon as possible so we can get the ball rolling and start traveling. Uh, but anyway, so let's make an appointment. And then um, in, after all of this, you don't get your social security until she's a, uh, your child is a U.S. citizen. So that comes next. So you don't get the social security number yet. Um, anyway, um, one of the things you'll need, uh, this is a form, it's called the DS-2029 CRBA, and this is a U.S. citizenship, this is the application, so, uh, I'm gonna leave that link, um, I'll leave all the links so that's easy, I don't have anything to show you right here, but after the video, um, you can click on all the links and it's pretty much everything you need, um, so that's the CRBA. The applications for this uh, U.S. citizenship, I'll leave that in the description. And then it's a form you got to fill out and print. All the stuff you need to take with you to the interview. And then if the U.S. citizen is not able to go to the interview, they need to fill out the DS-5507. And that's the affidavit of physical presence or residence, uh, a parentage, and support. So I am going to the interview so I don't need to fill that out but if one of you does uh, if like um, like Richie if she'd have to go alone we need to fill out this affidavit because I won't be there but I will be there so we don't have to worry about that but I'll leave that link as well and that's called the DS 5507 and then the application for a US passport um, you know that's for getting her passport the other one was for the US citizen this is for the passport and I'll leave that link in the description. And then also one thing that's kind of helpful is the checklist. And this is to report the birth abroad. And that has like a whole bunch of stuff that I didn't know I was going to need. Like, um, of course, you can look at it to get a full understanding of it. But we need to get a passport size picture uh, for me, from me, from uh, Richie and of Everly. So... We're going to do that in Subu City when we go. And if I'm missing anything, if you guys have done this, like I said, I'm all I'm just doing this as I go. We haven't done the interview yet or anything like that. So when we do the interview, I'll do another update to let you guys know how we did and if I had everything. But it sounds pretty straightforward. But you do need the passport pictures, which I didn't know you were going to need until I read the checklist. And then you do need some proof of uh, like a 
your uh, girlfriend or wife, or whatever, having being pregnant. So um, like ultrasounds or anything from the hospital or anything from the doctors, uh, pre-baby. And then um, proof of your relationship. Um, so we had like, a, this is kind of the same thing for the fiance visa that we already did. Uh, and I'll make another video about that another day, but we're still kind of waiting for to hear from them. It's been, man, almost eight, nine months, something like that. But we still haven't heard anything from them. So I will make another video about that. But uh, you do need proof that you kind of know each other uh, or spent time in the Philippines or uh, yeah, in the Philippines. And uh, uh, yeah, but all this is in the checklist. So if you do want to read it, um, you can definitely understand it more seeing it in print. So I think that's about it. Hopefully that does help you guys. I'll leave all these links in the description because that was the hardest part was finding all these links. Uh, and here, you know, finding a printer. So we had to go, you know, go print all these things off and then bring it back here. Uh, so hopefully you guys have a printer nearby. Uh, and if you do have enough ink and enough, because uh, it's pretty thick. I don't have, it's uh, hidden away right now, but it's, you know, it's pretty thick of stuff that we're bringing in. So there's just all the paperwork that we need with like proof that we know each other, the ultrasound and all that stuff. So uh, just prepared to print a lot of stuff and uh, even sometimes copies because sometimes they don't accept like mistakes. If you sometimes as you write things in and you make a mistake, then you might have to print out another form. So but anyway, yeah, that's about it. Uh, so if you guys have any questions, just let me know. But that should at least get you started because that's where we are. We just started. And then um, we have our appointment, our interview, which is the end of the month. If you're in Manila, you can actually do this online. But uh, we had to print out everything since we're in Cebu. And I kind of got conflicting um, responses. I emailed before all this to find some of these uh, websites because it wasn't very easy to find online. I actually emailed the embassy. And they said, we can't do the interview in Cebu. You can only do it in Manila. But then when I booked an interview, it said, where are you from? Either Cebu or Manila. And I picked Cebu. So we're going by what it said on the interview application. So we're going to Cebu. And we just hope that you can actually do all the interview and all the processes there. But I actually got an email back from them saying that um, you can only do the interview in Vanilla. So if you guys have done the interview in Cebu, uh, let me know just to reassure me. But uh, that's what we're planning on doing in the month, doing the interview there. And then we're getting the ball rolling. So uh, hopefully it doesn't take too long after that to get, you know, her passport, her citizenship. I really don't know. They didn't give an estimated time of that. If you guys have gotten it done, you can let us know in the comments how long it does take from doing the interview, from getting approved, from getting her passport, from getting a U.S. citizenship. Uh, but then after that, you got to get the social security because that's another important step as well. But so it could take a very long time. It could be short. I really don't know. I just know I did check the interview and it's all booked for the next two months. They only go two months in advance. So you can't book any farther than that. And it's only Tuesdays and Thursdays. So that makes it a little challenging too. But anyway, Everly and Richie say hello. <laughs> Well, that's the end of the video. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Uh, maybe other commenters that have been through this can answer those questions as well because I only know of what I did so far and uh, hopefully everything goes good. Um, but yeah, so that's everything I know. So hopefully you guys are doing well and we'll see you guys next video. Hopefully this helps you guys.